The mothership. Right. The UFO festival. Step aside. Whoa, look at this. <laughs> Is that Pample Jeff? Some alien bodies here. Crash site here. I left my wallet. Darn, son. There's Billy the Kid. 15 people were murdered. Oh my. Who are you turning up? What in the world? One big pistachio. DG out here. That's cool. Wow. First nuclear bomb. The Area 51 missile range. Mexico. War Patrol. <laughs> One. Rio Grande. Robots. That's terrifying. Tornado. Extreme caution. Tombstone. The OK Corral. That's where it happened. Oriental Saloon. Bullet holes in the ceiling. <laughs> gonna go in the mine. Tunnels up above us. 300 foot drop. The cellar down here. My tombstone. Billy Clinton. Excessive heat warning. 113. <laughs> Wow. Wow. Mine entrance right here. Pry bar situation. Incredible. Looking for gas. We're going to a castle. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Route 66 right here. So cool. Abandoned building stuff. Meteor crater. That's oh! through a tornado. So cool. Dinosaur stuff. Show some respect. My blood's a boiling. Wow. That's what we're going to look like. We're just Lewis and Clark. Indian petroglyphs. Out. Rattlesnakes. Poke your eyeballs out. 32 Studebaker. Look at that. Meteor City. 1881. Get her done. Yeah. Welcome back to the Sleeper Dude YouTube channel where we are bringing back the family road trip in a station wagon. Now we are doing a lap around America to see some of the most famous destinations across America. A lot of cool parks, a lot of history, a lot of Wild West. And we are going to try to do what looks like it's going to be a 7,000 mile road trip in a 31 year old station wagon that we bought for $2,700. Can we make it more than a dollar a mile this year? I certainly hope so. And we are also doing the same road trip that my great grandparents did in 1976. My great grandpa, Theodore Roosevelt Maloof, my great grandma, my grandparents, my dad and my uncle did the same road trip in 1976 in an Oldsmobile station wagon. So we bought an Oldsmobile station wagon and we were going to try to do the same trip they did. We got the photo album from their trip. We got the road map and we we're going to try to match up some stuff along the way. On this leg of the road trip, we're starting out in Roswell, New Mexico. We're going to try to see if we can make it to Tombstone, Arizona, up by Goldfield Ghost Town. We want to see a meteor crater, some Indian cliff dwellings, the petrified forest, some Indian petroglyphs, and then try to hit Route 60 all the way to the Grand Canyon. We're taking the same car on the same trip. We're all the same age as my family members that were doing the trip back then. Same time of year and doing a lot of the same route. So come follow along with us. See if we can make it. Let's get right to it. Good morning from Roswell, New Mexico. Ralph, you got to sleep in a bed for the first time on this trip? Yes. <laughs> so we're going to go out here and get some free continental breakfast. We're going to try to see Roswell today and go on to White Sands and maybe see some ghost town stuff in Tombstone, Arizona. Let's get to it. There better be a waffle maker. Well, at least they had a waffle maker. No steamroller yet though. Maybe one day. It's a holiday, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, there's our beauty, our noble steed. I better check the oil. It's been a minute. Oh shoot, we're still above full. We're almost 1,900 miles into this trip. Car hasn't used any fluids at all. Not a drop. Uninstall my vice grips here and close the hood. Let's go see what Roswell looks like. We're trying to go out here to see if we can find the welcome sign for Roswell because it's pretty cool. We're gonna try to get our picture in front of it. I think I see it over here. That's cooler than the Las Vegas sign. It's got alien spacecraft on it. What's underneath? Is that animals? It's like cattle. Cattle. Oh, the cattle are getting sucked up by the alien spacecraft. Oh, that's, what's that's what's happening. We're going to get a good picture. We look like the mothership. I know, right? Well, that is super cool. I think that's the coolest sign I've ever seen for a town. A bunch of these businesses have aliens out in front of them. We had no idea there was a UFO festival this weekend. Which just makes it even more funnier. Yeah, so they're going to have like a downtown UFO festival today. It's gonna be super busy, probably. I don't know where we're gonna have to park. There's one up there at the burrito place, too. <laughs> Look at the Look, that alien has a horse drawn wagon. They're street lights. I just oh. seen the street lights. They're oh, right. they're alien heads. That's great. Look at that guy. All right, we found some public parking. We're gonna walk into downtown Roswell here on Main Street. See what's up, what's up, what's up. 
Wawa's a little bit worried. She doesn't like people in costumes. And it's a festival for aliens, so she's a little bit on edge. I don't she's like, like people in costumes. Her heart rate's like 300 right now. She don't even like school mascots, though. So. These school mascots are awful. Apparently, they're scary. Who is, who is in there? You don't know. I don't even know. It isn't either. And then they ask you, you want to plug? No, I don't, ma'am. Step aside. What are the odds that the only time in our life we roll into Roswell, it's a UFO festival? It's awesome. I, I'm proud of ourselves. Yeah, it's just hilarious. Whoa, look at this alien here in front of Duncan. And this is, I think the world's only McDonald's that is shaped like a UFO up ahead of it. Oh yeah, it is. We'll go check it out. That hill is awesome. It's really cool, yeah. isn't it? That's the biggest one we've seen yet. Somebody has been chucking a skid here. <laughs> These little rental electric carts. Look, they even wrote their name up here. Look. Let's check out the UFO McDonald's here. We drove right past it last night and didn't know it. Guys in the, in the drive-thru line. Oh my gosh. I, I want to take a picture with it. Yeah, take a picture with it. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> Very nice, Ralphie. Very nice. We got the invasion station here. All kinds of alien stuff. Get her done, son. <laughs> He's your size, huh? Five hundred bucks, Ralph. We could have one in the house. Wouldn't that be creepy? Yeah. You could put one in Wawa's room. You can buy them, Wawa. <laughs> oh my gosh! This is an actual photo of what happened here. In typical dad style, we're early to the event. It's not really open yet. Everything's closed down. <laughs> that dog's got an alien costume on. Thoughts on that, Wawa? Everything down here is alien stuff, everything. So we were at the International UFO Museum Research Center where they do research on alien things. <laughs> oh man, is that Papal Jeff? It's got a cool mural on the side, that's for sure. Roswell, we believe. All right, we're going in the UFO Research Center. I think Squeezy is the most excited one about the UFO museum. <laughs> most excited, least excited. <laughs> we got an alien in costume. Wawa is dying right now. <laughs> Wawa, look, it's just an alien. Look, it's just an <laughs> Hey, Wawa, he wants to shake your hand. <laughs> just go. <laughs> hey, how are you? Hey. Get a high five? Yeah. <laughs> Poor baby. I've never seen a real one up close. So here's the crash in 47. Wow. Actual photos. We made it three feet and he found something, some plaque to read. <laughs> it's gonna be a long day. This is what was found. The government says it was Project Mogul where they were dropping dummies from air balloons and doing sound testing for the soviets what's the truth we may never know there were missile testing sites all around in roswell was armed with the m65 weapon system these are all ufo authors and speakers that are here this weekend <laughs> this is artifacts found at the crash site which is actually out of town a little bit so it wasn't right in the middle of town or nothing we got some alien bodies here <laughs> This is evidence, honey. Take this seriously, okay? Oh, they're working on one over here. It's x-ray. Oh, the spacecraft is taking off. $35 for all five of us to get in here. That's pretty good, huh? She'll have to sleep in bed with me tonight. Yeah. So you got petroglyphs and stuff that look like aliens. That's above like Moab, Utah. Squeezy just likes to touch buttons. So this is about Travis Walton from the movie Fire in the Sky. He's actually gonna be here later today. We got a simulator. Mom loves simulators. So the 
actually have a research library here. You can come and look through all the evidence of everything if you want to investigate anything. No investigating, please. It's pretty cool. It's a neat tourist attraction. If you like cool stuff, as my buddy Scott would say. I think we need to get back towards the car. You're right. We got a lot of miles to travel. Y'all like it? Yeah, I like it. It's That's pretty funny. neat, isn't it? It's really funny. But yeah. yeah, we don't take it serious, but it's really neat. It just has a cool tourist attraction. Squeezy has to high five the alien over here. I hope he turns and starts walking. I don't think I've ever seen one that just high fives like that or waves at you. you got another crash site here. You know, most towns they celebrate like fall. It's like UFOs here. It's kind of cool. <laughs> right, we like steal military guns, so. <laughs> it looks almost just like our RV. It looks like it hasn't moved in a while. Yeah. Uh, I like the colors on it. The kids have talked us into going into this to see what the inside of this McDonald's looks like. The UFO is the play center here. Oh, that's pretty cool. Wow. Look, we're all McDonald's in a space outfit. They talked me into going in the play thing. I've never seen a McDonald's that has merch. <laughs> all right, let's get back to the car. We got a Roswell sticker to go on the car. <laughs> Wawa's decided she's gonna sit in the back. She survived Roswell. <laughs> Our merchandise is now available at thesleeperdude.com. We have five t-shirt designs to choose from. We are handling everything in-house now. So we're gonna try to get everything out to you as quickly as possible. And as always, there's a link in the description below. We really appreciate all your support. Sure. Sure, yeah, that's fine. All right, thank you. What? Your wallet. Is in the room? You left your wallet. Oh my gosh. Well, good thing we hadn't left town yet. And good thing they were honest, huh? I can't believe you did that. I thought I had it in my backpack. I thought it was right here. Oh my gosh, I left my wallet. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, thank the Lord, We they called us. So Tosh sat my wallet out on the bed for me to pick up, and then I apparently didn't pick it up before we left the room. So hopefully everything's still in it, and we're gonna get it back. We'll see. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that. I cannot believe that she I left it. She had it taped up, but she said she's sorry she messed it oh, up. Oh, it's okay. Can you believe that? He's so anal about that stuff anyway. I like, check everything before we leave. He, he'll be having his magnifying glass. I went now. under every bed with a flashlight <laughs> and didn't look on top of the bed, I guess. All right, let's get on the road towards White Sands. Mm -hmm. Well, Roswell is pretty cool if you like touristy stuff. Yeah. It's pretty neat. Tomorrow is the actual day that the wreckage was found. That crashed out here. We are going the direction that the crash site was. You never know. Do, 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 do. So the craft crashed off in that direction over there. Oh man, there's a bunch of old cars in there in somebody's place. Look at that. Don't think it's open to the public though. We got TP action over here. Wow, this looks different than what we see. It looks like less brush. Yesterday it was all covered in brush. This is just like almost nothing. Why don't any trees grow out here? Uh, a lot more rolling hills and stuff today as well. Wow, guys, look. Man. How cool is that? We are coming into the Hondo Valley. It's kind of neat. It's like, I guess it stays wetter down here and there's a lot of trees that grow down the bottom. That's cool. And the drier looking mountains around the edge. A lot of little ghost town looking buildings around here. All oh, this looks abandoned. Look, they're storing hay in that old store. Wow, look at all this. Like every building right there. It's like an old storefront, like they sold fruit or something, huh? Yeah. We're just gonna go ahead and get gas just in case. Yeah, you don't want to run her low in the desert, do you? Nope. You ever seen that before? A hose reel where you can air your casings up right here for free? New Mexico's got it going on right here. You can just air your casings up right here. That is nice. That should be everywhere in the country. It should be everywhere. Exactly. Ralphie can't handle the back glass being dirty. I just like doing it. <laughs> My dad used to do it every time we'd stop somewhere. So I bought a drone just for this trip so we get some cool aerial shots. It's been too windy to use it, so I'm going to try flying this thing for the first time. getting some good footage here.
All right, let's land this thing. Can we land it without crashing? Success. <laughs> Good job. That thing's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. We're gonna have to use it more often once we get the hang of it. Well, we got some ice and some hydration for the desert. We're gonna head back out into it. Yeah. Man, pumping that iron. Um. Squeezy turn the back. We got 18.7 miles to the gallon on this one. Wow. Not bad. Good. Best one yet. You see the aliens here to stick them up? Look, we got Bigfoot here. Oh, wow, look at that longhorn. Darn, son. A lot of old abandoned buildings. Look out there. They tear them down where we're from and build something new, sadly. Hotels, you don't see them much. This is the Billy the Kid Visitor Center. I didn't know there was anything here about Billy the Kid. Look at the horsies. There's Billy the Kid. Let's see how many I can name. That's Buffalo Bill Cody, Wild Bill Hickok. Is that Bat Masterson? Yep. George Armstrong Cruster. <laughs> and that is Annie Oakley. We got Billy the Kid, Pat Garrett, who killed Billy the Kid, John Wesley Harden, Victorio, the whole gang. Squeeze loves this kind of stuff. I found a video. <laughs> so this area right here is where the Lincoln County War started, which if you don't know what that is, basically it was, you know, one guy kind of had a monopoly on the town and they got into gunfights and it eventually involved over 200 people and 15 people were murdered. Really cool history in this area. It's what made Billy the Kid famous. Check out this old truck. Get it, Papa. That's a pretty cool free visitor center there. If you haven't ever heard of the Lincoln County War, you should look it up, learn your history. It's very cool. Look at that little camper thing. That's not a deer. We got elk sign. We're at 7,600 feet elevation here. Such cool buildings around here. It's all over the place. see a bunch of teepees up there. Look, look at all the teepees. Wow, look at that building. Oh, we got beetle action, Wawa. Wawa approved. Wawa, do you see out ahead of us? Oh my gosh. Wow. I knew we should, I knew we should. That wow. is so cool. Okay. So you can see a white sand desert out ahead of us. And then right over here, we have these beautiful Mountains. We're passing a limo right now. Descendants of Geronimo. Okay. <laughs> Look like Elvis. <laughs> it's so it weird. looks like we're going to the salt flats or something. Yeah. It looks like there's a bunch of snow just out in the It must be a really big desert because it looks like it's everywhere we're driving towards. I just love those old motels in a row. That Dodge truck ain't bad either, is it? Very nice, Maltese sedan. Apparently we're U-turning, I don't know what for. I didn't see whatever it was. Oh, we got antelopes or something babies over there, okay. And donkeys. I thought we seen like an old house or something. She seen like a baby <laughs> something over there. Them. Yep, it's donkeys. And little antelope deer thing. We got a fake tow mater there. Wrong body style, guys. I can't believe the amount of abandoned buildings. Wow, look over here, all these buildings.
giant pistachio. Where? World's what largest pistachio. What in the world? Check that out. You gotta stop. You can't just drive past the world's largest pistachio. So I reckon this is pistachio trees, I guess. That's one big pistachio. It just keeps getting bigger as you get closer, doesn't it? <laughs> Gotta love a roadside attraction. How big is this thing? Yeah, like tour things and all of his <laughs> Things a beast. So apparently the guy that started this whole deal was born in 1929. So I don't know when it was put here, but yeah, it's super hot. It'll brand you. <laughs> Literally. The custom cruiser is looking fine. I had no idea how pistachios were grown. That's yeah, that's a pistachio. You're looking right at one. 100. percent That's crazy. Squeeze don't care about pistachios or the desert. So that's kind of cool. We were gonna get ice cream, but as you can tell, it's like backed up out the door, so we didn't. We got a DG out here. I think I saw that from Joe Dirt, maybe. Are you telling me you don't have any hoosker do's, hoosker don'ts, with or without scooter stick? That's cool. Oh. What in the world is that? It's like an old factory or something, huh? That's cool. Wow. DG. We've crossed over 2,000 miles now. Woo! There were some signs. Apparently, they do missile testing here. Look at the fence around the place. I see some white sands. <laughs> That's very exciting. Yeah, look how it's changing up here in the distance. We've been seeing this for about 100 miles, haven't we? Right. We're in White Sands National Monument now. Man, it looks like the beach, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Like the way the dunes are on the beach. Crazy looking out here, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Wow, they found sloth footprints here. Giant sloths. And then end up as fine grains. Picnic in the desert. A pickle. Why do you have a pickle in the bag? <laughs> Uh, Mom found a pickle in the gift shop. Oh no, she's gonna drink the pickle no, juice. I, to drink it. Uh, I would throw it's up. So, so where we're at now used to be called Alamo Gordo Bombing Range, and just 60 miles north of here is where they tested the first nuclear bomb at the Trinity testing site. Not far. It makes you feel good. All right, back after it, towards the Tombstone. We gotta get our sticker on first. Oh, a little camper one. Tragedy. The wind back got me. Nice. Yeah. We cranked her once and she died. And then it cranked back up. I don't know if it has like low fuel pressure on startup or something, but doing great aside from that. Apparently you can go sledding on the dunes, but it is toasty roasty out here. I don't, I think that's a winter sport. It is just <laughs> barren wasteland ahead of us. Beautiful mountain range over here to the right. There's a whole row of old power lines over there that are down. Just like abandoned ones. And I guess they replaced them with these and just left the old ones up. Because they wasn't in nobody's way out there, huh? Not a soul. Small missile range. Small missile range. Oh, yeah, look. There's a military gate right there. You can't go in. This is definitely Area 51 for sure. White Sands Missile Range. And the views here are just incredible. See that observatory up on the mountain, guys? We got a hard hill to climb now. We're in here amongst it now, aren't we? I don't know what our elevation is, but we're going up, up, Nine up quick. Pop, 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 pop Look at the view back that way from where we came from, guys. Oh, Whoa, we're falling off the end of the earth down here. Oh my gosh, look out here. Entering lower Rio Grande watershed. This is crazy looking. Yes, it is. I feel like this whole video is going to be me saying, wow, beautiful, incredible. Sorry for being repetitive, but it is beautiful. We're coming into Oregon, New Mexico. More of 
of the state, bro. Wow, look at all these. About 30 miles that way is Mexico. You're looking at Mexico to your left. Here's a dirt devil thing. A little dirt devil windstorm over there going on. Looks like an old motel or resort or something. It's abandoned. The DG. You boys like Mexico. You need any more Grinch feet in the middle? No. There's a border patrol inspection station. We got a car pulling a car pulling a car from Mexico. Okay, we gotta stop and get inspected by the border patrol. <laughs> what in the world? I had no idea they had inspection areas. That's crazy. Y'all better act right for real. I don't know what they're checking. Got a lot of cameras on us. That's all you just drive through. Okay, we're good, I guess. We're that close to Mexico that their border patrol's checking us. That's really crazy. I'm surprised they didn't check squeeze for sure. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, it does. We've got on some secondary road the GPS has sent us on here. Must be a traffic jam. This is the Rio Grande River. Wow. Cool. We're crossing the Rio Grande. Chili capital of the world right here. Red chili. Myself, but... Oh, look at this guy. Is that Paul Bunyan? Who is this? It's Creepy. Yeah. This is Hatch, New Mexico. Everything's about chilies here. We got dinosaurs, chilies, KFC, robots. Look at that. Robin Hood, even. Yogi. This guy. <laughs> Hudson. DG. There's a DG right On this here. side of the Rio Grande. Tell you what. They got them everywhere. Look at those solar panels. They rotate different directions to get the most sun. A lot of sun out here. Once again, it's just straight road as far as you can see. Yeah, tons of solar panels out here. And we also have these big windmills going. Once again, another red light in the strangest place on earth. Golly, oh, they're big. Slow. Yeah, they're not going off fast, are they? There's like a dirt devil going out there. In the middle of the desert. You see it? We are coming into Deming, New Mexico. We're going to stop and get some fuel just in case. We don't know when the next gas station will be. We're getting close to the Arizona border, though. This must be the only Tesla charging station around. Look at all the Teslas what in charged. The world? That's crazy. It is. He is all about the squeegee now. Well, I've never done one before. Well, you're doing a great job at it. It looks like you're a pro. <laughs> Just checking in on us, I guess, huh? I hope this doesn't become like, you know. Constant? Yes. Yeah. It's some lights on for safety. Dust storms may exist the next 15 miles. Dust storms? What in the world? This trailer is leaning a little bit. Here you can basically see the whole train in one spot. The plants out here look so weird. Wall was talking about how weird they look. I don't know what those are. According to the Atlas, we're just a couple miles from the Continental Divide here. And I'll tell you, you need to get an Atlas because these green little dots mean that it's a scenic route. These little pink squares and stuff, that tells you if there's points of interest. We found a lot of stuff by just looking at the atlas. We gotta match up a picture real quick. We're at the Continental Divide. When we crossed the Continental Divide in Colorado, it was like huge mountain. There's nothing here. I was expecting a mountain range. <laughs> more TP action. We got more dirt devil action off in the distance there. Oh, I should spot it from a mile away. <laughs> That's terrifying. It looks Thanks. like... Yeah, yeah it's pretty big. Hey, she ain't picking up this piece. Yeah, it's weird to see. That's definitely the closest I've ever been to one of them. Oh, yeah, you can see it on the ground there. It's coming right here to me. It's like me. a tornado, isn't it? 
So what's the difference between that and a tornado? Well, it looks like a tornado. There's rotation. Okay. That's crazy looking. It's so weird you see it. Yeah, there's a second one starting up there. Oh, it's big, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks big. Zero visibility possible. Do not stop. Use extreme caution. Apparently there's a big chance of dust storms ahead. Fraggle Rock? <laughs> We got a nice mountain range coming up. Thank the Lord. I'm raising something different now. Yeah, yeah. The flat in the desert kind of gets old after a while for sure. In a dust storm. Pull off roadway. Turn vehicle off. Dust storms may exist next 10 miles. Feet off brakes. <laughs> Stay buckled. What in the world? These are the weirdest signs. Oh, wow. Look at these down here. Oh, the whole town down here. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I didn't know it was there. We are in Arizona. Woo! Woo! It just opens up right here to a beautiful mountain range to our right. It's just not quite hanging now. Oh, that's a big dog eat, aren't you? They're getting silly back there. They're sleeping right. Uh, sleeping right. We've lost three hours. The time zone changed, so now we've lost another hour, three hours behind our time zone. I guess Arizona maybe doesn't participate in daylight no. savings time or something. No participation. It's about to be sunset in like an hour. Where Tombstone is, you basically go to Benson, Arizona, and you had to drive 30 minutes or so down to Tombstone. So we're gonna stay the night in Benson. We didn't want to drive all the way down to Tombstone and then get there right at sunset and not be able to do anything. I looked it up and a lot of the stuff's already closed for the day. Let the kids splash around the pool probably. Amen. Let me get caught up on some editing and stuff. I've been trying to do editing all day and I've got seven minutes of video editing. So we're gonna stay in Benson tonight and we'll, we'll hit Tombstone in the morning. That way we can really see it. So I am super excited about going to Tombstone. This is one of the major stops on our trip. Are you gonna wear your cowboy boots? I might wear cowboy boots tomorrow. I might do. I brought them, just in case. I've probably been wanting to come here ever since I watched the movie Tombstone back in the early 90s. Just love anything to do with the, the West and Cowboys, so I really don't want to do a quick trip into Tombstone and just see it for an hour and head out. This will give us a chance, too, to get our clothes situation sorted out. And we did do some laundry while we were in San Antonio. We only brought enough clothes for like five or six days, so we got to get all that situated, get ready for the next day, so it'll be a good time to catch up. Crazy big train. Our trains aren't this long at all. No. Oh, it looks different here. It's like really rocky. Round the rocks. Yeah. That's cool. Wow. These are huge. Oh, it's like all through here is just boulders. We haven't seen anything like this. I looks like it could fall. Any minute. Mm -hmm. um, we're starting to see signs for Tombstone. We're going to be over 2,300 miles driven so far. Hey, steel bridge for a railroad. Pretty cool. I guess it's going to be our stop for tonight. Mm -hmm. Shoot, it's got a fountain in the middle. Yeah. This is swank. You book it. Oh, I did book this one. Yeah. We're going to get something to eat though. We're starving. It's KFC it is. Not many options here. Car's still looking a wreck. Yeah. We're not going to wash it on this trip. It's a KFC and a Taco Bell. Oh my gosh. Impeccable. We've ran into our first problem. They don't have sweet tea here at a KFC. That's ridiculous. We told them we want sweet tea. They're like, uh, we what? Packets. We have sugar packets. Like, that's not the same thing. Not the same. They're unsweetened, but not sweet. Crazy. Has Squeezy was the only one that went with Taco Bell. She never does anything we do. <laughs> this is all she uses at the house now as a pitcher. It's awesome. It's so cool. <laughs> I felt bad for Tosh, so I'm gonna drive to the motel from here. <laughs> what is it, 50 feet, 100 feet? Honey, I'm just doing my yeah. part, mm -hmm. doing what I can. Okay. All right, we're here. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. Next her. Oh, that's funny. We hit 2,400 miles 
as we pull in the parking lot. Guys, I know I said this trip's gonna be 5,000 miles, but Tombstone's like 1,800 miles from our house, and we've drove almost 2,400 miles to get here. So I think this trip's gonna be longer than 5,000 miles. Because we're driving like this, instead of driving like that, it's adding miles. It may be 6,000. Hey, I didn't do bad booking this, huh? You did pretty good. Not bad at all. I can't wait for Tombstone tomorrow. Yeah. Honestly, I mean, after last year's trip, I was like, I wanted to go to Tombstone this year, but I thought, I don't know if we'll get that far or not. You never know what might happen. I'm so excited that we're actually here and actually gonna go to Tombstone tomorrow morning. We are very close. We're like 30 minutes from there. Ah! That was a lot of <laughs> She's got you beat. Dang it. Yeah, that was better. That hurt my back so much. <laughs> You'll live. We will see you guys in the morning and head towards Tombstone. Ralphie's sleeping in the floor again. Time for breakfast. We got Waffle Maker action. Are you ready to go see the most famous Wild West town where the most famous gunfight happened? Yeah. I can't wait. All right, we're packed up and head out to Tombstone. I couldn't be more excited. How did I miss this dinosaur yesterday? Hey, we got a dinosaur here. There she is. That must be the train to Bisbee. <laughs> Tombstone. I love that. We're headed straight towards the Mexico border, right over there. This is the closest we're going to be to Mexico. The train changes faster here. It's very hilly. It's way more hilly than I thought it would be out here. It was just farmland. I mean, why do they ever want to come out here? Who Silver. told them? Silver. So the guy that started this town, he was in the military and he used to venture out to look for precious, you know, metals. He was told that if he went out here, the only thing he was gonna find was his tombstone. So he came out here and he found silver. As a joke, he named the mining claim in the town Tombstone. That's funny. We got signs for the OK Corral gun find. Giddy up. You got your cowboy boots on, cowboy. I'm a cowboy today. Try to get your cowboy hat on. Yeah, we're in Tombstone. I'm a cowboy. <laughs> what? Oh my god, it's gonna be a long day. Uh, where he knows what this building is. Well, we're parking at the OK Corral parking lot here. Uh, get your cowboy hat on, cowboy. Get, believe me, I'm getting it on. So right here where we parked, there used to be buildings and Marshal Fred White's funeral was held here. He got killed by Curly Bill Brocious. And also there was a room here they used as the courtroom. And this is where the Earps and Doc Holliday were tried for shooting the Clantons and McClowry brothers. Their trial was held right here. Check out the copper gutters on this building over here. This is Sheffield Hall, which I believe is the oldest adobe structure in the state of Arizona. And this is named after the man who founded this town. We got the city hall here, Tombstone Marshal's office, erected in 1882. So that'd have been right after the gunfight happened here. And you're looking at the lot behind the OK Corral where the gunfight happened right here. Isn't that crazy, Ralphie? Yeah. We're actually at the same spot. And this town in its heyday was one of the most modern towns around. They had swimming pools here, baseball fields, horse racing tracks, a little bit of everything. On pace to be one of the biggest cities in the country and then the mines kind of died out. It's gonna be full western tire before it gets out of here. Are you in love? Oh yeah, look at this one. Yeah. Of course, I need some. Yeah, of course. So he makes his own leather stuff here. This is actual stuff he makes. Very cool, authentic stuff. The holsters and stuff even have the Tombstone brand in them where he makes them here. 
incredible stuff. That's a really cool store there. Definitely would recommend walking in there. He's making himself it's so cool. Usually it's all Chinese stuff. Fly's Photography Gallery, which is right next door. Mr. Fly actually took the gun out of dying Billy Clanton's hand during the gunfight, although he did not take pictures of the fight. And this building was saved from burning in 1882 by covering it with wet rags. I can't believe we're here, Ralph. I really can't. So the photo of the McClowry brothers and Billy Clanton was taken by Fly Photography, which was that building we just saw right around the corner. That famous photo was taken by them. I didn't know that. So we're right on downtown Allen Street now, which is close to the car traffic here. Yeah, they got horse poop here. So this is the main street to Tombstone where all these famous people were. Bat Masterson, Doc Holliday, the Earp Brothers. And here's the OK Corral because the gunfight actually happened in a vacant lot behind it. So this is the Historama building here at the OK Corral. They have a show here at noon. Hoping to see that. I love the old movie posters. Are you on cloud nine? 100%. You know, I love old stuff like this too. Like <laughs> the fact that it's not modern is even cool. I love it. Geronimo was also from this area of the country as well. Not just the uh, Earp Brothers. They had all these different style saddles. It's funny to see the lady saddle where you rode sideways on the horse. I feel that it seemed like you would fall off yeah. easily, yeah, didn't it? Yeah. Let's see the lot behind the OK Corral. Wow. This is Ralphie's favorite part is the saloon doors. Oh, <laughs> he loves the old saloon doors. Touristy stuff back here. But right over there on the other side of that wall is where the gunfight happened at the OK Corral. All right, let's go see the actual gunfight site. So it says Tom and Frank McClowry and Ike and Billy Clinton walk through the corral through this entrance right here. And back here is where it all happened. So they came back through here. And this is it right here. That's where it happened. Gunfight at the OK Corral. Oh, you can push a button, Squeeze. Look, over there, gunfight story. Wow. The West's most famous gunfight began where you are now standing. Just as they stood on October 26th, 1881. Their best gunman, Frank McLowry, stands with his brother, Tom. Oh, wow, they moved. Ike Clanton, leader of the powerful Clanton gang, is accompanied by his kid brother, Billy. In the next few seconds, nearly 30 shots will be fired under the leadership Girl, of the Clanton out. family. Many blame the cowboys for every stage robbery and stolen cow in the territory. <laughs> 19 year old Billy Clanton, dead. Wyatt Earp, unhurt. It's so funny, they're like. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's so cool, though. I love it. It's just incredible to be at this spot where it happened. Very fortunate to be here where history happened, right? That's so cool. I love this. This is old drawings that Wyatt Earp made of the gunfight, showing where everybody was and what happened. So see, there was four of them, but Ike Clanton ran from the fight and the other three died. I believe two of the guys were unarmed, so it really wasn't a real fair fight. I just love it. It's just the coolest thing ever. Oh I saw you girls was done checked out over here as soon as it started, <laughs> when it wasn't 13 seconds long. Story. Okay, I got this. Is he reading another plaque? What do you think about Dad and his plaque reading? I'm gonna be here for a while. So that's Ike Clanton who actually started the whole fight. He ran from the fight. He didn't get killed by Wyatt here and there. His vendetta ride. They got killed a few years later. So this is the actual building that Doc Holliday and Big Nose Kate lived in. That's <laughs> incredible to me. I guess they lived in this room here. Whip it around your head like they do in the movies. Fly I took pictures of a lot of the local Apache Indians all throughout the area. So all these photos were taken by Fly's studio, including Geronimo right here. That's Geronimo. <laughs> My mom's gonna lasso this bull real quick. That was a close one. At least mom found something she was interested in at the OK Corral. Oh, that was close. Ralphie's got this. 
<laughs> and all my watching movies and researching about this stuff over the years, I never realized that Doc Holliday lived here and that's why the Cowboys came here was to confront him. I didn't know why it happened right this spot. So this is a map that Wyatt Earp drew in the 1920s. He denied killing Ringo for years, but in the 1920s, he claimed he did kill Ringo. This is where he killed him at, and this is Tombstone here. So it's about 50 miles from here. People that knew Johnny Ringo said that he would not have killed himself. Maybe Wyatt killed him. Maybe Wyatt wanted to be famous for killing him late in life, though. <laughs> he did it on the little one. He was aiming for the big one and got the little one instead. Good job, Ralphie. You finally got it. Well, that was super cool. I'm so excited that we made it this far. I really did not <laughs> expect to make it here, I guess. Let's go back out on the main drag here and see what we can find. Cowboys spotted. It's just so cool to be on the wooden sidewalks in Tombstone. I don't think we've been anywhere with sidewalks this wide. No, it's wide. Squeeze loves the visitor centers. Hey. I love the tall ceilings in here. It's pretty, isn't it? Yeah. 11.30 this morning. You can catch a trolley ride about 11 o'clock if you're interested in doing that. Get a combo deal. Save $5 on your tickets. Thank you. Okay. So they were super helpful inside there with a map of the town and everything. Love my maps. I'm happy as a pig in mud here. There's so many famous buildings here and stuff. We got a stagecoach you can ride here. Squeeze is looking for a saloon. This is Big Nose Kate's saloon. It don't have saloon doors. Oh. What if you go in? Well, I want a horse now. There's so many Western stores here. It's crazy. Part of our admission to the OK Corral comes with a free copy of the Tombstone Epitaph Report from the day after the OK Corral shooting happened. So we're going to go get that right now. Squeeze is all on it. Oh, wow. Hey. They got all the old printing press stuff from here. They had to set all that out to spell whatever they wanted to say. See, it's an ink plate right here. Isn't that crazy that they had to make them like that every time they want to print something? That's incredible it took that much work to make a newspaper. Like they're all in drawers here. So this is the Crystal Palace. Got the Longhorn Restaurant. Big Nose Kate's is back there. We got the Oriental Saloon, wow. Remember that from the movie? He walks into the Oriental. It's like I'm sitting here playing cards with my brother's kids. You gonna do something or just stay in there and bleed? After the gunfight of the OK Corral, Billy Claiborne was killed here November 14th, 1882. Good, my boy Cowboys today. all over. I've been to a lot of places, but I've never been to a town that has this much authentic looking Western wear. Not wearing a snake skin anything. How about that? Maybe I should, maybe I took a snake out. Hey, why don't you put this on your dress or something? No, thank you. <laughs> we spotted a Thunderbird out here. You don't see that body style often. I love the color. And a Ford Ranger. And a ranger. I see why they had the covered walkways. It's too darn hot if you're not under a covered hallway. It's only like 10 o'clock and it's super hot already. Here's the Birdcage Theater. This is famous for the longest poker game that ever happened. It was like over eight years long and there's over 140 bullet holes in the ceiling because this was the rowdiest theater in town. Wow. It is the saloon, gambling, all house and negotiable affections, all under the a crib is nothing more than a four by a cubicle. Have a slide door in the back. 26 people killed in here. This bar was bought in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania and moved here in 1881 and has never been moved. Behind the door, the bullets in there. Wow, this is where Curly Bill Brocious killed Fred White, the marshal in town, right here. I love the Western stores. I think we may have the Earp brothers out here in the road right now. It's about time for the gunfight to start. We bought tickets for it to OK Corral. Man, there's a big line for the gunfight. Oh, you got, like, up, on up in there, so it's in here. I thought it was over here, okay. And it's like at max capacity in here. Squeeze is overheating. She's got like a 220 thermostat, I'm telling you. Time for it to start. You folks ready for the show? Said, 
like those cowboys are getting started early. We did not come down here to get involved in law. If this town's gonna make it, it's got to have some law and order. Virgil, don't do this. Yeah, Virgil, listen to reason. Ike Clanton is a no good yellow bellied snake in the grass. Hey, this is you guys. You must get out of here before you get more fight than you can handle. Yeah! You're gonna tell him he's got a fight coming. Like I'm an officer of the law. I'll be waiting for him in the morning. It ends today. Of course we're gonna kill him. <laughs> they have to pay for the way they're treating us. It's a bad idea. We should just... You cowboys been looking for a fight. Now you can have it. Lock your hands, boys. We're here for your guns. Oh, that's not oh, what I'm going on. Frank McLeod, dead. Tom McLeod, dead. 19-year-old Billy Clinton, dead. And that, folks, is our show. We hope you enjoyed it. Well, that was awesome, huh? I did a good job. My phone, yeah, wah. Didn't care for the loud noises, the pops, but my phone died during it because of the heat. So hopefully mom got it on her phone. All right, let's go find something to eat before everybody else does. So we're gonna go to the Longhorn restaurant here and try it out, huh? Yep. Oh, wow. They have a lot of cool stained glass uh, photos and stuff on the wall. Some are appropriate, some aren't. I need me some milk. to go on my truck. Oh yeah, your truck would look good with that. I couldn't be this close to Mexico without eating some Mexican food. Got some tacos. Closest tacos to Mexico I've ever had. Very good. The Dunkin' Burger that Wawa got was to die for. We all tried it, it was awesome. So that's what we recommend here. It's a Honda Civic somebody's made into a truck. It's the best American. thing I've ever seen. It's incredible. We're gonna have to cut something into a truck now. Okay. Squeezy's already found the petting zoo. Like it says if you rub it on its back, it'll spit on you. We're just waiting for a spit. Somebody come over and pet this thing. Yeah, no. I'll take the, oh. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, I got growled at. <laughs> Oh, he's getting it ready. He's getting it ready. <laughs> Y'all are chickens. Come on, they got goats in here like we do. Rocky would love this. <laughs> okay, I'm out. I'm out. You talked me into it. I don't know if she should be in the petting zoo, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Not the best animal for it. She's digging it up from her toenails. Oh, I'm telling you what. Yeah. Like, she's working for it. Look, we got mine shafts over here. Squeeze is going to go in the mine. Good luck. Of course, he spots the ugliest car here. I'm going to go check it out. We got our mining helmets on. We're ready to go to the mine. <laughs> <laughs> you look so funny. <laughs> look at yourself. <laughs> you know you Just when I thought I couldn't get any bigger. Three, two, one. So the drillers would start where they put that drill up against the rock, hit it as hard as they could, and turn a quarter turn. There's another mine shaft over there that's 470 feet deep. Mine's all through here. There's another that mine entrance over here. When he found his oh, there's a big entrance to the mine here. Wow. Oh, look at the stairs going down there. You guys are coming in if you look over to my right hand side here. That's the other side of that entrance that I showed you up top. Before we go down, because this is a real mine with some real dangers in it. Wow. You'll see a lot of these yellow So all of this was dug out by hand. I couldn't imagine digging this out by hand. Could you, Ralphie? Oh, it's feeling way nicer down here. That'd be the only thing about being a miner. It wouldn't be too hot, huh? Yeah. That's cool. I'd, I'd go over there. So this was the second mine Ed found in this area. This is the first mine in this area that actually produced a lot of silver. So this is kind of the mine that the whole town was built around. Check us out on other platforms at Sleeper Dude 88. Oh, great silver. 
Probably not what you guys thought it would look like, huh? That's an original drill steel hole from those miners back in the 1800s. So she said that one of these mine shafts goes off all the way up under 6th Street to the Crystal Palace. Chrysocolla is a sister to turquoise, but it's a much softer mineral. However, like if you guys hat. go home and realize you have Chrysocolla. Oh, wow, there's tunnels up above us. Wow. So this is what it was like for those miners for six hours out of their day. Now I'm going to show you guys what it was like for four hours out of their shift. Is everybody hanging on? Quit touching me. So for four hours out of these miners' shift, they were working completely in the Don't dark. There was she also said it took 20 years for them to dig all this, this out. This is candle wax left behind by those miners over 140 years ago. Wow. Isn't that neat? Yeah. Seven levels to it. Wow. If you guys want to look, take turns looking over the railing there, we're now on the third level of the mine. Four more underneath the railing. That's cool. Wow. 110 feet under the under now we're somewhere to, That's a 300 foot drop. Mm -hmm. That's where it is. It's funny that we're underneath the town we were just in right now. That's a scary part. Cars. There's cars above us and everything. People. Isn't that neat? This is quartz and gypsum. Oh wow! Whoa! Look how far back that goes. Wow. Well, we're done with the tour. We're heading back out. That was really cool. The burn, he says. All 70 pounds he's got to carry up the stairs. 80, no 90. <laughs> Man, that was so cool. There was 26 high-producing mines. He owned 19 of them. So right over there at Campbell and Hatch Billiards is where Morgan Earp was shot and killed. I like that mine. It was really cool. It was really cool, wasn't it? Really cool. All right, on to the Historama. Are you super excited? Yes, yeah, totally. Mountains and mountains of silver, more than enough to make your every wish come true. The year was 1877. On a sloping hill near a flowing spring, a cluster of tents and rude shacks sprang up overnight, it almost seemed. In the same month, the stables of the O.K. Corral were built. The Methodists, Presbyterians, and Catholics had their own church buildings. Sheriff Johnny Bean, friend of the Clattons, enemy of the earth, Morgan Earp was shot to death. Quiet, nearly was he. <laughs> A coroner's had hit water as early as March 1881. You fell asleep, didn't you? I was not a yet. I thought it was awesome. 50 years old is pretty cool. I could take it home with us, honey. I'll, I'll follow you. No. Yes. It's a beaut. Yes. It's a beaut. So I forgot my wallet at the motel yesterday and she forgot her bag at the mine. So hopefully they still have it. We keep forgetting stuff. <laughs> Get on to me for losing my wallet. I remembered it. <laughs> at least you did. You at least they have to call you, right? Right. Law don't go around here, law dog. What? We've decided to split up. I want to see the bird cage. They want ice cream. I'll see y'all in a minute. Call me. I just couldn't come here without going into the bird cage theater. Wow. So this is the only original unrestored building in Tombstone. And all the Earps and Doc Holliday, Bat Masterson all came here. This is the roughest saloon and theater in town. They said this building was locked up with all its contents still in it. And then years later it was purchased and opened back up to the public. So here's the stage for the old theater. Down here is where the longest poker game ever played was. Russian Bill occupied this bird cage for two years at $25 a night, which is big money today. He wanted to appear tough, so he stole a horse and was hanged for it. He was really a Russian nobleman. This is a big building. Wow, look at that bull's head. Wow. Let's go down here to the high roller poker room. $1,000 to enter this poker game. They said you might have to wait for days. Wow, this is underneath it. 
the cellar down here. It's amazing it had all these original contents in it. As always, you exit through the gift shop. Well, that was really cool to be in an original building with all its original contents. A lot of these old Western towns got burnt, which this town did too. So a lot of times it's hard to find completely original buildings like that. Ralphie, what kind did you get? Orange cherry. What about you, Squeeze? Oh, okay. Black cherry. Oh, here we go. What have you done? Hey, Betsy. What? I'm just a tourist walking around. What are you talking about? What Drinking have you sarsaparilla? What have you done? Have a gun belt on? It's like root beer. It's what they have back in the West. It'll change your life. That is way too sweet. Yeah, it's just that's right. sweeter than root beer. It's like, it's totally like good. I don't really like it. it. They must be a tough job right there. They sit out in the sun all day in cowboy they're like three, outfits. Three lights. Yeah, I couldn't imagine. Didn't they just kill each other? How come they're out here together again? Hearts and minds clear? Yeah, all hearts and minds are clear. Okay. I think I'm good. I mean, I'm as cowboy as I'm ever going to be right now. Do you have a tear in your eye? Probably. Real deal, Hollyfield Town. It is. This is the best Western town I've been. In. I've been to Deadwood, Leadville, Dodge City. You're just a cowboy. This is the best one. If you like westerns, come here. In the movie Tombstone, when they're walking down the street, four wide to go to the OK Corral, they were walking down Fremont Street, which is this street right here, to go to the OK Corral. So this is where they were walking, right here. I don't know what's going on. Well, back to our noble steed here, old Plan B. We're not going to be heading west anymore. We're heading north. Onward and up. Well, we had to get a sticker from Tombstone. Every place, the stickers are five dollars, aren't they? It's just five dollars. Uh, oh, not bad. A little crooked, but it'll work. Just like you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, they are. They're all crooked. They're all crooked. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Mom's embarrassed. I'm having her take a picture of the car right in the middle of Allen Street. Right here in downtown Tombstone. <laughs> so there was a map up there on a plaque that showed the mines were back in here. So we're back behind the town. Look that way. You can see where we went to the mines. Oh yeah, see, look. There's an old mine shaft right there. So a lot of the mining claims were up in here. Well, there's an old mining cart. Bye, Tombstone. I'm gonna miss you. Well, Tombstone definitely over-delivered for me. Excellent stop. I've got to hit the Boot Hill Graveyard. This is where all the famous people are buried from this. Well, me and Wawa have come out here. Everybody else is in the gift shop. They're all wooden tombstones. Isn't that funny? We're in the town, Tombstone, looking at tombstones. So you got Old Man Clanton, Billy Clanton, Frank McClowry, Tom McClowry. So these three were shot by the Earps and Doc Holliday. This is where they were buried. That's the most famous one probably right there. John Heath was taken from the county jail and lynched by Bisbee Mob, February 22nd, 1884. Wow. Oh, here's one of the really famous graves. Here lies Lester Moore, four slugs from a 44, no less, no more. That was even in the movie, Tombstone. <laughs> here's Fred White's grave, who was shot by Curly Bill Brocious. Kind of started the whole okay corral incident. And of course, you have to exit through the gift shop. There's some twerps in here somewhere. <laughs> you camped out in AC. I don't know how to explain to you how much fun that was for me. I really, really enjoyed that. We're only about probably 25 miles from Mexico right now. So we are headed back north towards Benson, and then we're gonna go up towards Tucson and Phoenix and get as far as we can tonight. I enjoy the old dresses and the old outfits and seeing oh, the okay. people in the cowboys dressed up. It is the, cool to see them dressed up in the... And the old buildings. I like that. Way off. Close to food. The mine. Yeah, that's how close to Mexico we are. We have a Border Patrol circle here. Didn't have to stop this time. Well, if you're going to come here, I would recommend coming in the morning. It's kind of hot. It's 99 degrees right now. It's not even the hottest time of year yet. I'm hoping it gets cooler as we head north towards Wyoming. Oh, some cool trucks out here. Looks like, one. yeah. Danger, excessive heat warning. Proceed with caution. Plan B is just clicking right along, soaking the miles up. So we are headed towards Phoenix, and it's 113 degrees. I thought that Texas, you said Texas was going to be the hottest. I thought it would be. What 15 on Monday. Oh, goody. Wow, that is incredible. I never thought it would get that hot out here. 
All right, we're switching it up. Mom's driving. Pray for us. Yeah, I got to do the business side of this or uh, you guys wouldn't have seen the last few videos you saw on our trip. This is a six day of driving. I have edited one video in six days. I'm getting like 15 minutes of edited video done a day. In these kind of desolate areas, I just do editing for a while to try to get caught up so you guys can see the last few videos you saw. Nice Z car there. So we are coming into downtown Tucson, Arizona. Beautiful backdrop of the mountains, huh? There was a couple things in Phoenix we wanted to do. There's a petroglyph preserve, but unfortunately it's closed for the next three days. So we can't do that. But we are planning on going now to Goldfield Ghost Town, which is outside of Phoenix, kind of to the east. It was a historic like gold mining town in the 1880s, 1890s era. We're gonna get there kind of late. It's almost 7 p.m. by the time we get there. We're gonna see what we can see. It's supposed to be a lot of original buildings there, so I'm really excited about it. Dang, son, look at this Monte Carlo. That's classy right there. Very slick. That's a luxury sport, even. It's not even an SS. Usually you see the SSs. Wow, this is the first time we've seen like traditional looking cactus. Big tall ones. Look at those guys. Like trees. Man, they're huge. We have not seen these at all yet. <laughs> Mom and Dad's driving. There's three snake trippers that have a spot pulled over. My dad sees them pulled over. It doesn't have a seatbelt on. Goes to turn to get a seatbelt on. Blows the horn and swerves off the road. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh, we're gonna take the keys away from him. You see where she got her driving skills. And there is some huge cactus here. Really big. They're just everywhere, all over the tops, all these hills. Some of these look like they're 15 feet tall. There's just nothing out here at all. Any direction you look. We got roundabout action. We're not used to them. This way? No, that way. It's straight, baby. It's straight. That was straight. No, that was to the right. I said go straight. I think I see the buildings from here. I'm ahead on the left. Wow. Oh, I see it from here. This is gonna be cool. Yes, it is. So this was a legitimate gold mining town in the 1890s. Wow. Look at all the stuff. What's that? Look. Wow. How many buildings are ahead? Man, this looks cool. This is awesome. I'm glad I picked this. It looks really neat, doesn't it? It does. It's like a hair dryer here, isn't it? It is like a hair dryer. It's only 115 or whatever. Man, what cool buildings. Everything's just like wood colored. Nothing's painted. So it's late in the day on a Sunday. The sun's about to go down. So most of the businesses are closed, but hey, at least we get to check it out. Maybe something will be open. There's so much mining equipment around here and stuff. Look at the backdrop. Look at that. Incredible. Wow. I love this. Two western towns in a day like this. Like score. I mean, I got my boots on still and everything. Oh, I should be wearing my holster. You're right. Kind of looks like the town from the Quick and the Dead with that building there. Oh, there's some mining equipment out there too. Look how tall that is. It's gotta be like 15 feet up. Yeah, it's a museum here. It does, doesn't it? Look, look at the little gel. Seems like most of these towns, the gels are really tiny. That's an elevator for a mine shaft. Wouldn't you love to do that? Mm. Mom would be all in on that one, wouldn't she? Old steam powered tractor. That is enormous. That thing's gotta be 20 something feet. Look, look. look at that. Wow. That is the biggest cacti I have ever seen in my life. This house right here may be the prettiest house I've seen in a western town. It's such a cool shape. Wow, that is beautiful. We need to take that with us for her. Oh, wow, there's a church down here. This cacti for days out here. Fellowship Hall, shooting gallery. Me and Ralphie's all about some shooting galleries. I'm glad we came here, huh? Yeah, cool. Man, everything's closed, unfortunately. We just came too late on a Sunday. Oh yeah, you did good on this one.
Uh, it is a really cool town. I'm sure it's very nice to come here in the morning when it's not so hot and when everything's open. Um, oh, I mean, it's the best backdrop. What? It's a beautiful it's backdrop. It's like a movie. It does. It looks like a movie set, yeah. Back behind all this is where the mine is. Uh, that's the big thing that pulverizes all the rock. Oh, they got some railroad tracks in here. Where do you see buildings like that with just sheet metal nailed to the outside? What a cool building. Wow, so that's the old tower for the winch and everything to go down the mine. And this is the actual mine entrance right here. Wow, that's really cool. I would love to come back here sometime when they're open. PB and J at Goldfield this evening. Saving some money. We're gonna eat something real quick and get back on the road. I really enjoyed that. I can't believe we got to go to Tombstone and Goldfield today. We're gonna try to find a place to stay tonight. We don't know, we may stay in Phoenix or we may stay a little north of there. We'll figure it out. Some more touristy stuff here. So mom's picked out a room in Anthem, Arizona, which is just north of like the Phoenix area. And we got goat action over here. Oh, we got sunset with the cactus. What could be better? Audi R8, very nice. Look at the moon over there. <laughs> You're Wait, Holiday Inn Express? Pancake roller! Exactly, pancake roller. We're gonna have to take mom's book and apple. Oh, away. Look, here's the Tansler Parks then. Of course, it's Swankosaurus. Last time we stayed at one of these, we had a pry bar situation. I'm just gonna oh, say. Oh, wow. Did we bring the pry bar? Of course we did. You never know. See how hot it still is? It's like nine o'clock at night here. This makes no sense. It's gotta be over a hundred still. Oh, We're getting used to this whole checking in, checking out thing, aren't we? Oh, swank, swank. Very nice, mom. Look at the dust on my boots from Tombstone. I may never clean them off. Well, the baby's taught mom to take them down to the pool tonight. Good mommy. Well, that's gonna be the end of day six of this trip. We were still able to knock out 291 miles today, so not bad. But in the morning, we're gonna get up and start heading north towards Flagstaff and onto the Grand Canyon. So we'll see you guys in the morning. Good night, Indiana Jones on. Can't beat it. Good morning. We are going down to see if they have a pancake steamroller. I still haven't shaved on this trip. Well, we were headed to breakfast, but Squeeze doesn't have any shoes, so we gotta find her shoes first. Story of my life, huh? Yeah. It's here. He's gonna salute it. And they say Roswell isn't real. We have evidence. They should have one of these for waffles so you don't have to make it yourself, huh? Yeah. Incredible. Sausage gravy, bacon, pancake steamroller, omelets. Egg you can't beat it, can you? It's kind of a mess getting in and out of the car every day. <laughs> we all have all we can carry to come in and out with all my video stuff to charge and everybody's clothes and stuff. I'm not sure who we're following here. <laughs> we're planning on going to the Montezuma Castle National Monument. We want to go to the Petrified Forest as well. And I think we can match up some of the photos that my grandparents took in 1976 on their trip out here. We're wanting to get on the original Route 66 today, which will be fun. Also, we're wanting to go to the Behringer Crater, which is like a meteorite crater, which I've never been to one of those in my whole life. So that ought to be cool. And after that, we're wanting to go towards the Grand Canyon. We just reserved our room for the Grand Canyon Railroad Hotel. So we're gonna take a train ride to the Grand Canyon. Woo! Uh, I guess the gas station's closed, guys. Back on the highway again. That's not good. Well, hopefully we can find gas out here in the desert. <laughs> Maybe this one has gas. They don't say on the exit ramps like we're used to. It doesn't look like there's anything out here. No signs anywhere for fuel. We got another closed gas station. That's good. What the heck? There's a Cadillac there though. Oh, man. Well, we are back to the exit we got off on last time looking for gas. Maybe there's something on down farther. I guess we're gonna get it right back on the interstate and try to find something on down. I think it's like 20 miles though till the next gas stops. Now that we are low on fuel, we're going to pull a mountain. 
Man, it is beautiful though, isn't it? Maybe we coast down to the other side. No services. What a deal. Well, that's something we hadn't seen in a while is grass. You just come around the corner here and everything changes. Even the rest area is closed here. And this takes it doesn't have any fuel either. Finally, <laughs> some gas. Golly, that was a nail biter, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm on the, I'm on the line here. On the E. First time we really ran her down that low. Yeah, this isn't the area you want to run out of fuel. This seems like a good place to stop. We just started leaving the gas cap off because every time we were taking the cap off, it was like sucking a ton of air in. Should have got it on video, so we just leave the cap off now. Ralphie's doing his new favorite thing to clean the windshield. So I haven't been mentioning on every stop, but we're getting 16 to 17 miles a gallon basically every time on this car. Third row has just got abandoned because it gets too hot back here with no air vent. It's become an enormous trunk now. Got another DG here. We are about 30 minutes from Montezuma Castle National Monument. Hopefully it's pretty cool. There's cattle in the middle of the interstate, fenced in here. That's great. Once again, never seen that one before. 115 degree day today. There's actually trees on these mountains here. Man, such a pretty country. Uh, it's giving us the coolant warning again. I don't know what's up with that. She's a little bookworm. Here we go, Montezuma Castle. We're going to a castle. Woo! Mom doesn't like the roundabouts here. It's just a circle. Mike? Yeah. Towards the big sign. We got fry bread, whatever fry bread is over there. What? Let us know in the comments. No. We just passed 2,700 miles. We're at 2,705 miles. We paid $2,700 for the car. So we have done better than the motorhome did last year. Awesome. We knew it was gonna be better. Hey, a visitor center. Toxic plants, don't touch them, okay. Uh -oh. Wow, so this is what it looks like where we're headed back here to see. Wow, look at that. That's a picture from the 1800s. Look, wasn't the castle walls with pictures of Oh, there's all kinds of handprints in the castle walls? Yeah, yeah. So it says the pyramids are built in 2500 BC. This was built in like 1100. AD. In the late 1800s, people used to visit here. They would take stuff from the site and carve into it, and that was considered fine back then. Teddy Roosevelt was the one who protected this place, started in 1906. So it's like a third of a mile hike down through here, which is about our limit in this heat, probably. <laughs> wow. That's carved out into the rock, guys. Dad. <laughs> oh, don't even, don't even look at that. Look at that. Can you believe they lived in that? No, it's crazy. I can't believe they lived in that. I'm glad we stopped here. That's really high up. That's probably 60 feet up or something. It's definitely higher up than I thought it would be. I just don't know how it's like not fell down. Just if you look. There's little holes everywhere. Here, but they go up through there too. Wow. I think they had like doors or something where they went in and up there. That's probably the only shelter from the heat was being up in that rock like that. You know, it was cooler. It had to be. There's a squirrel all the way up there. Where? You see it? Oh, I see him. He's running around the rocks up there. See him going? <laughs> That's hilarious. Squeezy's already checked out over here. Shoes off. It says there's like 20 rooms in that and like 60 people would have lived in it is what they're thinking. Oh, there's a cave back there. There's all kinds of caves up here in the side of this mountain. Whoa, look at all of them. You can see the levels to all this. There's different floors to it. You can see it's clearly defined floors. You can see the foundations here for buildings. But then... Uh, Imagine yourself you put your finger in it over seven centuries is, ago. What you would have seen might well have been something like this cutaway model. Wow. Montezuma Castle. Well, that was definitely worth the stop. This one's going to be straight for sure. Little to the right. Little right. Little right there. She left me. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't help it? I did not help it! I didn't even want to stop what I did! <laughs> I didn't even right here! <laughs> I'll be living in the cliffs. <laughs> well, did you guys like that? It's pretty cool. Very cool. I thought it was really neat. I was trying to map out our route to the Behringer Crater, 
looking for the atlas and apparently best guess i have is i left it at the last motel because i was mapping it out last night trying to figure out the best route i guess we're gonna have to buy another atlas next time we can find one since we couldn't hardly find that one that's a bummer we got more signs for elk here next 40 miles what a deal we got our gear down in d for donkey going up this hill don't want to burn our od up do we we're at 6,000 feet elevation. We just keep climbing, don't we? Yeah. Squeeze, how many shampoo, conditioner, and lotion balls have you got yet out of the motel rooms? Six. Six bottles. Not bad. Discount Daryl Jr. back here. <laughs> Who rides a bike down the interstate in the middle of this? We just realized like 20 minutes ago that we couldn't find it, so I guess I had left it. I'm sorry. I don't know what's wrong with me. I've left two things in the room now. I don't know where it was even sitting because we looked around the room before we left. I have no idea. She said she's going to leave it for another visitor in the front lobby. I'm going to have to mark up another map now. This horse corral right here on the side of your state. We're going to be going right through the route that my grandparents took in 76. So look at this picture right here. That matches up pretty good right there, don't it? I don't know about y'all, but I'm super excited about seeing a meteor crater. Yeah, Anybody here ever seen one before? Nope, no, me, me neither. I think it's pretty big, judging by the pictures I looked up when I was researching this. I think it's gonna be pretty cool. Fun fact I should have mentioned when we were in front of the Teddy Roosevelt poster, my great grandpa, the one that was actually driving the car on the trip in 76, his name was Theodore Roosevelt Maloof. What a name. Yeah, what a name, huh? I just thought about that. That was his name. We just saw the poster there of Teddy Roosevelt. Yeah, my great-grandpa was named after Theodore Roosevelt. Oh, wow, look at this. That's so cool. Wow. Well, we're getting off here. It was this Twin Arrows something? This should be Historic Route 66 we're about to get on here. Wow, Route 66. So this is old Route 66 right here. Oh, that's cool. This may have been the road that my grandparents took. I don't know if, if the interstate was built at that point here or not. Look at the old power poles and stuff all falling down. So it's a closed down gas station that somebody is like graffiti like crazy. Wow, what a cool spot. I love the arrow, that's so cool. Look at the old gas pump still here and everything. Oh, the second arrow hit the ground. Look, they look like old telephone poles. This is really neat, isn't it, Ralph? So it was an old tourist stop here on Route 66. I guess it uh, just went under at some point. This is when a tragedy happened. I did not realize when I was there that this is where the fireworks scene from Joe Dirt was filmed, or I would have recited it for sure while I was there. You don't got no lady fingers, buzz buttles, snicker bombs, church burners, finger blasters, gut busters, zippity doo dahs. Man, there's so much graffiti here, huh? Met some nice people here that are doing a trip too. Ralphie loves this abandoned building stuff. I guess it's just become a thing to come here and do graffiti or something. It's kind of creepy looking inside there. Old cafe. What do you think, Squeezel? Mom loves this. I did good. You did. You spotted it. It's very cool. What's Ralphie doing? <laughs> Ralphie's dying to go in. I said it looks a little sketch. Not much. Very cool spot. I follow the Route 66 on Facebook. At least we got to see Route 66. We'll probably get back on it because it goes right through here. It goes through area of the Petrified Forest and the Behringer Crater and on into Flagstaff and on that way towards Kingman and Oakman and all that. Route 66 follows the interstate down through here. Right there is Route 66 right next to us. So only parts of it are open because this highway dead ends right through here. You can't just drive it all the way like you used to be able to. You imagine traveling that road though, back in your 1930s model car. Oh wow. Mountain lines. Man, there's so much stuff out here. It's like a bunch of old buildings off Route 66 here. We got signs for the crater. The exit is Meteor Crater Road. That's funny. Man, we're in the desert. There's old cars out here in the desert right there. Wow, 30s model cars. Look, there's like an old building over there in the middle of nowhere. You can see the rim of this thing now. See the ring around it? It hit so hard it squished the dirt up around the edges. Two miles till impact. 
And it really pushed the dirt up around it when it hit, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Wow. It appears that even the ground we're driving on right now was pushed up by this meteor impact. I couldn't imagine the amount of energy and force it would take to do that. Here it is. It's a big building here. They have epic music too. It adds to the experience, doesn't it? Oh, cool. We'll never get out of this door. Oh my gosh. Squeeze, you're supposed to get out of it. So this didn't happen any time lately. They determined that this was a meteor crater in 1902. Drilling for iron and potential meteorite discovery was abandoned when the cable broke at 1,376 feet down. Wow. This became a visitor center in 1961, and NASA trained here from 64 to 72. This is a meteorite chunk they found here. Apparently there's a ride here we're about to do. So it's like a space shuttle ride is what it is. Mom's already nervous. You ready for this, Mom? That's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. What do you think, Mom? Excuse me, it said my seat didn't move, but the only thing I felt was like the rocks hit my back. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. All right, let's go see the crater. I think this is gonna be pretty cool up here. Rocky Balboa. Oh my gosh. Look how big this is, guys. Whoa, that's enormous. Wow, that is incredible. Look at the size of it. It's enormous, isn't it? Well, that's my first meteor crater. That's awesome. So I wonder why my grandparents and them didn't come here. Because they drove right by it. Down there is where they were drilling to try to find the meteor. But they never did. You got your workbook? Maybe. Um, Honestly, I mean, I'd heard of stuff like this, but I didn't realize there was one this big in the U.S. I'm going to go down there to that platform. Ralphie spotted something down there. Yeah, you walk out over it on this thing. Oh, look, it points you towards the stuff and it's already fixed. That's pretty cool. Crazy as it went down there on that little ledge. No, thank you. I mean, supposed to stay up here. <laughs> Let's see if this works. So right there's the main shaft all the way down there. Look, this is a six foot tall astronaut. Way down there by the American flag. You really can't even see him from here. I'm having to hike to the top of the crater so I can get enough internet to release the video that's coming out today. <laughs> Struggle's real. Okay, disaster averted. Got the video released. Just a few minutes late. Sorry about that, guys. So this is a fragment of the meteor. They think it was 150 feet wide. Can you imagine that something only 150 feet wide can make a crater that big? This is the largest meteor ever found in the United States, in Oregon. I'd like to see that crater. This is super heavy compared to a rock. Ralphie says it's because of the iron content. Millions of in all directions. The shock of impact melted most of the meteor. It took just 10 seconds and Meteor Crater was formed. Did you like the picture show, Squeezie? Yes. So I didn't know until I watched that video, but this is the best preserved meteorite impact site on Earth. This is where they figured out it was a meteorite crater and not volcanic activity. Because up until this point in the early 1900s, they thought all these were volcanic activity. And they said it's one mile across. Why'd you have you had to come up out of that joker down there? The guy working down there? Yeah. They had a mule driven winch. Yeah. Squeezie just wants to turn in her workbook so she gets a free prize in the gift shop. Squeezie's talking to the lady. She'll talk to anyone. Anyone. I don't know if she <laughs> she oh, we got a sticker. We didn't have to buy one. Say, don't, don't peel it. Wait, I want mine to be on. She's a butte, Clark. It's a really pretty view from up here. Very nice Shelby GTH there. Approved. Ralphie has decided that he will make the sacrifice and put his sticker on the car. Squeezy was not willing. Now you want to make sure you get it straight like mom did. You got to cross your eyes a little bit when you're doing it. Well done, good. sir. I think that's better than the mom's. Come on. Little lunch at the meteor crater here. Mm. Super 
crazy to me that we're on this trip. It's so crazy to me we made it this far. Yeah. We planned all this out last year and it didn't go so well. That was incredible. I loved it. Crazy. Didn't even realize it was like the best one in the world to see. The fact that it's along our route is really cool. On to the Petrified Forest, which is another stop that my grandparents did in 1976. We got another dirt tornado in front of us. Tornado spotted. I will say it's quite expensive to go in there. It was over a hundred dollars for us to go in, which I thought kind of excessive, I think. Excessive. I feel like they should have done more of a discount for the kids. It's worth the money, but they do ask a lot to get in. This road is really beautiful. It's really neat seeing the old Route 66. We passed a couple bridges already that were broken down. You can see where the old road was. I don't know what's coming up, but it's cool. We got old signs and some sort of old roadside attraction. It's teepees. Wow. Look at that. That is so cool. Wow. I think this is the coolest stretch of highway we've been on because you can just see the desolation of Old Route 66 the whole way. Look how long this choo choo is. It just goes forever. I just love the old roadside attraction, tourism stuff. Like the largest pistachio we saw. It's just silly, but it's cool to see. I wish it was more that way now. You don't see that stuff often. More buildings out here. It's sad though that these all went out of business. There's a dirt devil. Oh, we're, we're driving through a dirt devil. Oh my gosh. Look, it's the things. What's the thing? Oh my gosh. Whoa! Oh! Oh what my gosh. Us and push him we drove through a tornado. Oh, it crossed oh, the road. It crossed the road now. It's blowing stuff up everywhere. Oh my gosh. Nice. I'm glad you was driving. <laughs> Woo. Oh my, that's crazy. It moved us. It is still crossing the road, I think. There's something over to the left now. For sale. You What's buy that? it. Well, we could buy that. Uh, I would love to buy it. And do Why? what? I don't know. Did you feel it grab my car? I felt the whole thing move. I can't believe we've made it through it alive. World's largest petrified tree, Geronimo. Who knew? We got more TP action up here. Oh, this is the Geronimo right here. Oh, it looks pretty cool. Look at all those teepees and stuff. Looks like you might can stay in them. Here's our exit, Petrified Forest. Here's a sign for Historic Route 66. We had to stop here. Can't just drive by that. Oh yeah, that's a good one right there. Station wagon on Route 66. What could be more American? America! This town is Holbrook, Arizona. There's all kinds of old cars down here. Look at this. Camara? Ranchera? Oh my gosh, look at this. This is so cool. And look at all the old cars. I had no idea. But there would be like a 40 Ford front end on that Volkswagen or something. Oh, this is really neat. Here, look at this guy. I see him too. Oh, wow. Oh, that's petrified trees? Yeah. Oh, look at that Lincoln. Oh, man, Hudson's and stuff. That's like our little Falcon pickup truck, but it's a van. What a neat place. It'd be cool to stay here, wouldn't it? That's got to be the coolest motel in the world. Super yeah. cool. Definite stop right there, the wigwam. Oh, cool, an old muffler shop. I love the round buildings. This is just really neat. Oh my gosh, look at this place. Look, he's got all this. this oh, it's all petrified stuff. Man, look, it's a rock shop. So he sells petrified wood. I didn't even know that was a thing. I love the old dinosaur stuff. Look at all the petrified trees. How is there this many here? We got more dinosaurs. There's a whole roll of old trucks down here, but it's on private property. Really cool looking. Just checking in on us. <laughs> That's the old power poles out there. Look how short they are. They're like maybe 10 feet high. They're like, hey, as long as nobody hits their head on it, we're good. You know, that may actually be telegraph lines or telephone lines. Now that I think about it. Maybe. In Tennessee, we still call these telephone poles, even though there's no telephone lines on them anymore. So here's some of the pictures that my family took on their trip in 76. See if we can match up a couple of them here. 
see some of the same stuff they saw. There's another old bridge over there. Oh, they must uh, demolition derby here, huh? Yeah. Look at that. station oh, wagon. Oh, that station wagon. Oh, my gosh. Look at that station wagon with a petrified log in the back of it. Ralphie, look at that beauty. Take your hat off, son. Show some respect. Ralphie heard it making a noise. I don't know. Did we leave the cap open? No, he just opened it. Oh, okay. Mom was wanting a piece of a petrified boy. tree, I reckon. The gas is probably boiling now. Why is it? I'll tell you what, my blood's a boiling. So oh, that cool. is so cool. So these are trees that have turned to stone. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, $1,200 for a piece of it. Chair, that's cool. Oh man, they make all kinds of stuff out of it. Oh my gosh, it's $8,000. I have no idea. $7,200. Whoa. This one's only 28,000. Wow. Looks like it'd be fun to carry home. She's buying rocks, heavy rocks to carry back home. But some of those rocks are only $2, so. Oh, look at that. Get your geode. Yeah. Nice. She's such a tourist. Talking to the guy that buys the gun holster from the tombstone. Uh, it has a use. Hello. Uh, hello. I'm looking at it. Hello. Squeeze wants to put our new petrified forest sticker on. Dead on, Squeeze. Mom keeps buying rocks. That's what we're going to look like. Sad. It's a wagon they did it to. Do you see the petrified trees laying around, guys? This is a very, very bumpy road. I guess we're going to go into the visitor center here. Man, there's so much here. How big these are. I think I can match this one up. <laughs> it's dead on, Ralphie. Dead on. Oh, lots of dinosaur stuff. That's cool. Oh, you can dig in it, squeeze. Little brushes. You can be an archaeologist. <laughs> So basically the tree gets buried underwater. Eventually it turns to rock. Pretty neat squeeze, huh? Yeah. That looks an awful lot like that right there, doesn't it? Pretty cool. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff here we can probably match up. Hard to tell though, it's been 47 years. There's no telling what's been moved out here. So they took all kinds of pictures of the painted desert when they were here. And here's the painted desert right here. So this is the very road they were on. Mom really loves the petrified forest stuff. Wow. How cool, huh? Yeah. It's beautiful out here. It's like, how? Yeah, don't do that. I don't know how people ever traveled through here back in the day. There's just like these big logs everywhere. It's funny they broke up into sections. Wow, look how long that one is, guys. Wow. They're everywhere. It's almost like there was a flood here or something. Hmm. See all the trees over here? They're just everywhere out here. Look how big those are. Wow. These were huge trees. Could you imagine what this looked like when it was a forest? Yeah. So I know we can match this one up. This is a gate bridge. We're about to stop there right now. Now we know we're in the exact same spot they were for this one. That's kind of cool structure here, isn't it? Yeah. You see those two pictures on the bottom right here? Mm -hmm. Look over there. Wow. Oh. That's exactly where they were. That's a whole tree, right? Yeah. Oh, this is so cool. They were standing right here. Wow. 47 years later. Isn't that cool? That's it says it's 110 feet long. Wow. It used to be brown. Yeah, in their the picture, picture, all that yeah. bottom's brown and there was a tree right there. Yeah, now it's all faded. So and this is a really big log right here. And look, it goes all the way up into here. Man, what a massive tree back in the day, huh? I think it goes like Yeah, I think it goes right there, yeah. It says in 1917, they made the support structure under it to keep it from falling into that gully that's getting washed out. That's nice that they did that that long ago. That's a long time ago. 
as over a hundred years ago, they had the foresight to do that. I'm super excited we got to find that. That is so cool. This structure was even here back then. It was built in 1935. It's crazy. That's cool. They walked right through that same building. So they call this the teepees here, I guess because it's all pointed up. They get them kind of look like teepees, don't they? Wow. That's insane. We are like explorers, okay? Oh, yeah. Uh, we're exploring here. We're just Lewis and Clark. Nobody's ever been okay. here before. We're finding some good stuff. This is one that looks really cool. Newspaper rock. It's going to be Indian petroglyphs out here. This train off in the distance going by. It looks so slow. It looks really slow looks from like here. You reckon they have a problem with uh, snakes out here? Maybe rattlesnakes or and desert sidewinders? I had a desert sidewinder last night. Oh, oh Lord. Lord. Dad. Did you need a pry bar? No. Wow. Learning is the distinction of the archaeological oh, down there, district down. of the National Register. See it way down there? They have like the weirdest jaws on. Very cool. I didn't see that off to the right before. Wow. Look at the very middle, it has tails like you. It's like grooved over and it's... <laughs> you see it? Yeah, that's hilarious. There's no telling how much time it took them to do all that carving down there. That was super cool. Yeah. I'd love to hike down there, but it's off limits and I don't want to break the rules. Look, they know. This is right before they poke your eyeballs out. Yeah, I saw the movie birds. Have you not... It's like seeing Egyptian hieroglyphics or something, you know? It's so cool to see that. Oh, so here is Route 66, where it used to be. Wow, you can't really even tell where it was. This is where it was right here. 32 Studebaker. Man, that's a cool car, huh? Been out here a long time. Look, it's not even rusted out yet. We got some photos here in the album. We're gonna try to match up with this one. It's not the exact same vehicle, but close. I think we got it right there. You look just like my dad. Ralphie, you wanna be Uncle Chris? No, I do. Hey, you're both wearing a red shirt even. Well, that's cool. We were able to match it up. Even found some people that watch our channel out here. It's pretty cool. They're doing the same kind of trip. We'd actually saw them earlier today when we were at the Two Arrows thing and we caught back up with them here. So that was pretty neat. Very neat, very nice people. Yeah, need to meet some fans out on the road. And look, this is their pictures from the Painted Desert. There it is right there. How cool is that? It's so beautiful. It is beautiful, isn't it? It's awesome. It's like it's painted. Do you feel fulfilled that you got to see the petrified forest yes, today? I'm glad we went. I was excited to go there. Mom really wanted to go here. She wanted to see some petrified trees. I guess because I'm a plant person anyway, I really liked it. Yeah. Really nice overlook here. Look at that. It looks like the Grand Canyon, doesn't it? Can you believe how wide that is out there? How vast that is? That's crazy. Are you impressed? They inspect your car up here to make sure you didn't steal rocks. Thank you. Yep. Man, that was a tough inspection right there. Good thing we didn't have one on the roof rack. <laughs> we are headed back on the interstate now towards Flagstaff. So we're kind of backtracking a little bit today. We haven't really done much of that, have we? Except for Tombstone. We gotta go a little past Flagstaff, get to our motel tonight. We've already reserved the room. It looks like it's probably gonna be like seven, eight o'clock before we get there. It's not too bad. What's that building? Everything's graffitied up. It's like a thing to do. I guess. We've got another roadside thing, Painted Desert Indian Center. I'd like to know how many of these Indian centers are owned by Indians, because I feel like they're not. Old station wagon. It just keeps looking different. Like everywhere you go is a little different than the last place you saw. Squeezy been playing with slime the whole trip. <laughs> so I find a pinch of it in my seat. I'm I gonna pinch her. But, uh, I, I like slime so much Is that still rent out $29? Surely. No way. Surely not. Surely not. We're getting off the jackrabbit here, switching. Mom's tired of driving. Oh, um, by the way, we've hit 3,000 miles now on this trip. Woo! This trip's gonna be at least 6,000. I thought it was gonna be five, but I didn't take into account all the this. They're guessing songs Butterfly. back here. Can't help point one out, Elf Presley. That's suspicious minds. In the ghetto. Here's this really cool exit again. This is Meteor City. 
Very cool. Good times never seem so good. So good, so good. So here's the bike stuff picture they had. There she is. I almost like that mountain had not changed. It says Los Angeles. We're that close to California. We could just drive on to Los Angeles. I'm letting go. Can we please get to the motel quicker? <laughs> Just quit doing that. What is that? Like a temple. temple. Wow. Well, we have got off the interstate. We've come into Williams. We're just a few minutes away from our hotel for the night. Super excited about this one. Oh, this is cool. Gateway to Grand Canyon, Williams, 1881. We are on Route 66 right now. I think it goes right through the middle of town. El Rancho Motel, I love those old motels. A lot of old buildings down here, it looks like. Oh, wow. Nice. It's beautiful down here. Give him the right of way there. Get her Get done, her son. Off. Oh, wow, this oh, is that's really cool. neat. We found a place to park this boat. Good. Yeah, it's nice here, it's not so hot, yeah. I like the 55 over there. What a cool little town, huh? Yeah. Did you just drop some dance moves on them? <laughs> I think you jumped back, didn't you, Squeeze? Hey, there's Zoltar from the movie Big. Man, I love all these old neon signs. They got live music here and everything. There's an old car up there, that's awesome. Although it's fiberglass. This is the very first decent weather we've had as far as the temperature. It feels perfect out here tonight. It says this was the last town bypassed by I-40 in 1984. We're having some fam Y dining tonight. Cool decor, huh? Oh wow, you got an arcade. You got a 66 Impala. The kids are at the arcade while we're waiting for the food. Look at this loaded potato I got. Squeezy's had a bunch of grilled cheeses on this trip. Well, that was pretty good. It tastes good. It's a little expensive, just saying. Yeah, a little expensive, a little expensive. All right, let's find our motel. The neon lights just make it, don't they? Yeah. Man, look at this. Cool town down here at night, for sure. Cool gas station. Oh, we got a DG across from our motel. Perfect. Oh, what could be better? Yeah, we picked the perfect hotel here. I'm tired, guys. It's like after 11 at our house. Man, fancy entrance here. It's supposed to be really pretty. Oh, wow, nice lobby. All right, let's check this place out. What a deal. I'm tired. <laughs> Well, guys, we are beat. It's like midnight at the house. So I'm gonna get some videos imported from the day. We gotta wake up in the morning and we're going to do a train ride to the Grand Canyon. It's a two and a half hour train ride there, three hours at the Grand Canyon, two and a half hours back. And we went ahead and booked this room for tomorrow night too. So we don't have to pack everything up. Maybe we can get some laundry done. I can get caught up on some editing. Who wouldn't want to spend two days at the Grand Canyon area? Exactly, exactly. We will see you guys in the morning and we will head towards the Grand Canyon. But that's gonna be it for this video. We really appreciate you guys following along with our trip. We've had a really great time. We've seen so many amazing things that a lot of people never even get to see. So next video will be coming up in a few days and we are gonna be going to the Grand Canyon and then working our way up and into Utah and on our way to Yellowstone. So we will see you guys in a few days.